What's up, guys? I'm just killing noobs on Reddick. <laughs> um, I usually don't do this, but I didn't feel like searching for other games, so. Yep, so there I am, killing noobs. Um, start off pretty slow, but I picked up the pace once I switched to the MAT. Now, let's put it this way if the noobs are only playing against other noobs will they get better? I think not so so they need to play against better players so they can get better themselves right? But enough of that um, continue on from the last commentary I did I'm gonna talk about the Killzone 3 beta about um, what was wrong with it uh, the first thing you'll notice when you uh, play the beta um, is the guns, the recoil on it. They basically have very little recoil, and you can just spray and get a kill, which is a big change from kills on two. Because in kills on two, you can't spray. Or not very often, you have to be pretty damn close to spraying and get a kill. Now on kill on 3, you can spray from like long distances and you'll get hit marker in every single bullet. So that's definitely not right. Very noob friendly. It's not only for like an Asari thing too. You can gra grab a SMG and snipe with it. It's just wrong. Like SMG is for close quarters and is able to snipe. LMG, the LMG you can snipe with that thing easily. And plus it has a very large clip so you can just spray it continuously and just pray to kill him. And like I said, the accuracy on the gun is just it's just way too accurate. It takes very little effort to kill someone. So that's one thing that's wrong with the beta. And then another thing, uh, the sprint. Um, in kills on three, you can't sprint very long at all. You just probably sprint for like maybe five feet. You gotta stop and wait for your sprint meter to fill up again. See, the problem with that is the infiltrator gets an infinite sprint. It just makes it really unbalanced. So, since the infantry can sprint infinite, have infinite sprint, and other classes can can't even move anywhere. Um, every ready just went to an infiltrated class, or known as a saboteur. So, yeah, that's why I know it's in the beta. Every either played. They played Infiltrator or Medic. And I think they played Medic because they wanted the M82 Assault Rifle. And the M82 is only available on the Medic. And believe me, everybody on the forums, the beta forums, raised hell about that. And the developers read that and they decided to give the Tactician M82 back. Which was what everybody requested. Yeah, it's a good move. Uh, what else is wrong? The spawn points. I talked about that in the uh, other commentary. Yeah, so the spawns. If the other team captures all the spawns, you're done. Team's done. You're not gonna capture it back. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna be stuck in your base. And let's say you did got your base and you went to capture a spawn what's gonna happen is you're gonna kill the guys that are, that are already there the enemies that are already there and then you're gonna stop capturing right now within five seconds which is the new spawn time to kill them they'll spawn back and kill you and you can't kill them because they have this spawn invincibility thing so it just makes it impossible. It's 
I'm throwing a spawn grenade and kill someone too is much easier. Believe in that. But uh, yeah, camp fume is very hard. I'm going back to weapons. The SMG, submachine gun, was all available in all classes. And it was available on the sniper class, which makes no sense. The sniper class has the uh, the long range weapons, the SD14 and the, uh, the sniper rifle. But they also gave it the submachine gun, which is a close range gun, and just completely throws out the balance. Cause you can be, you can be cloaked as a sniper, right? And come up close range with the SMG and just kill him real easily. And yeah, the cloak isn't like perfect. You're not perfectly invisible, but it helps a lot. Oh, Guerrilla Games made a a lot of strange decisions with the meta. Um, is there anything good I can say about the meta? I like how the guns sound. Um, they all got a like heavier, more powerful sound to it. I'm sure some of you disagree about that, but uh, it's my opinion. Oh, uh, the one thing I don't like about the sounds is the SD14. Um, SD14 in Killzone 3 sounds exactly like the sniper rifle. And I have no idea why they did that. And I liked how it sounded in Killzone 2 because it like cracks. It's, it's very distinct sound. So now, Killzone 3 just have the same sound for Sniper Rifle and the SD14. Strange. Uh, what else can I say about the video? It looks pretty damn good. <laughs> um. You have the more gun effects, like when you shoot, uh, you see smoke come on the barrel, better lighting on the guns. And this is about all I can say about it. That's good about the beta. At my first, when I played the beta, I was like, okay, it's new, I'll just give it a shot. Like I, like I said, it was good at first, because it was something new. And but the more as I the more I played it, the more I noticed the uh, problems, and, and it changed my opinion about it. But that is a beta, and it doesn't represent the final game. So the final product can be completely different. But we'll see. Come February twenty second. Uh, if you were if you had access to the beta beta forums, everybody was basically basically pissed about all the changes they did to it. Now there were a few guys that liked it, but that's very few. And uh, the negative comments really outweighed the positive comments. So the general feedback is like, what the fuck, what you do this for? Change this shit back. Um, one more thing. People did not like the fact that they um, added uh, matchmaking instead of custom servers. And uh, this is a very stupid move, if you ask me. Like, what, what's better than custom servers? You can choose how you want your game much time you want for a mission, what guns you want. But now you just, you just join any new game. You can't choose what you want in there. It's you can't make your own games. So. Like all the I wonder how people are gonna do the community events like rip them a new one or kill them in union. You can't I wonder if you can still make your own game. So if not, those community games will be gone, possibly leading 
They can uh, kill someone three to die. I don't want to quit, it won't last that long. Um, but as I said, that was just a beta. There could be a, a lot of good changes, or one might not change at all. We'll see. But until then, I'll be still posting up kills on two videos. Subscribe, and I'll be playing kills on three on release. I'll tell you my thoughts about it. And yeah. Um. I guess the uh, noob raping is about to be done. So, hope you enjoyed the the uh, gameplay and the commentary. Peace.